Hello guys, Night Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast. It's been a while, and I'm sorry for that. It has been very busy during the New Year's season and, well, as well as my examinations. But for now, they have died out a little bit. I have, like, over a week for my next exam. So I think, yeah, let's make some videos now and pile them up for the next week, because then I'll be busy again. And after that, I'll be free again, and then things would go back to normal. I'll aim for one video every two days then. Anyway, let's go over the teams quickly, shall we? Enough of me rambling. We have a Kha'Zix. We'll probably go in the... Mm, yeah, he could actually go... No, he's the jungler. Never mind what I was going to say. And they're invading anyway, so... Who knows what will happen. Maybe they'll find an enemy of a red team. Well, there is a Leona approaching... Or is she? She's being very careful, and rightfully so. There is a Lucian here. Maybe he'll find him. We'll never know, I believe. Anyway, Kha'Zix will be the jungler. Has anyone been spotted by this Lucian? They have not. However, no one is going to gank, uh, going to check this brush anyway. Or is it going to be Leona? Regardless, she is being careful. She is taunting them. Taunting them like no tomorrow. Does she know? I don't think she does. Well, she's going to laugh away for dignity. Anyway, they could still try and steal blue easily. Leona now in the bush, they notice, so they don't want to go in too far. A ward would be awesome now, but instead they're just going to face check. Leona is going to get stunned and, well, insanely die quickly there. That was a very quick death, the kill going to a D Jinx, so that's pretty awesome indeed. The AD carry getting the money, and then they'll go and steal blue. Now, red team is going to parade the other way around, or are they going to try and prevent them from getting blue? Well, Elise is going to try. Elise is the jungler for red team, but instead she's going to face check against another team entirely again. She's going down so quickly, taste that fear, does so much damage when you're isolated. One more auto attack, never mind, that's the second kill for blue team. And they'll get a blue buff for it, and the jungler of red team isn't even alive. Well, she is now because of the very short respawn timers, but that's not a very decent move there. Now it's going to be a Zed in a lot of trouble. Ignite goes down, but instead he's going to ignite the Gregus as well, so Gregus is forced to walk away. He didn't want to tank too many minions, but Zed is going to have a hard lane regardless. I do believe that he has less regeneration than Gregus, and he went for the long sword, so... Wanted to go for an aggressive build and instead decided, well, oops, didn't want to have that now, did I? So, bottom lane will be an Annie and Jinx for blue team, whilst it will be a Lucian and Leona for red team. So, both of them can come out quite aggressive, though Leona wants to be level 3 before she wants to go in hard. Annie doesn't need to be, already throwing down the disintegrates onto Lucian just to do a little bit more damage. And it works out, because she has a stun ready. So they need to back off immediately. Leona isn't even level 2 yet, so this is the perfect time for blue team to go in hard. And they are going hard, Lucian, however, with the Relentless Pursuit dashes away. Does take a little bit of damage to the face, though. Elise is now counter-jungling, or is at the very least trying to counter-jungle, but Kha'Zix isn't giving it to her. She does have a red buff, however, Gregus is now mobilizing towards the blue buff, trying to do something. Elise wants to smite-steal it. If she does it per perfectly, it might work, using the Volatile Spiderling to give vision. Now is about the time that smite needs to be used. Smite has been used by Kha'Zix, but now he must face the power of the crocodile. Flashes away from the crocodile, but Gregus is not that lucky. Ignite will kill him. However, now we have a burnout coming through from the Shivana. Will ignite a D. Well, the crocodile, and he will die. However, Neurotoxin, the red buff. Never mind, we'll take the kill. Kazix wants to go in a little bit too deep, perhaps, but instead, he will be protected by his tower. Lucian, at the same time, needs to use Barrier perfectly there, or he would have died to the disintegrate, but it doesn't matter. Incinerate, followed up by the Flame Chompers, will stun down the Leona. She walks towards the tower, but the tower is doing too much damage. Wasn't going to the minions, but they want to die for regard. Regardless, Leona on the run will get an auto attack for, well, for the win, I suppose. There's not much that Annie could do against Leona. She is quite tanky. But a lot of plays happening. Red team doing a great job trying to climb back into this game. However, blue team did get a kill on the Renekton, yes. So, in a way, they evened it out a little bit. But... I must say it worked out a little bit more for Red Team. They did great, a good invade by Elise, showing her that early game harass is quite strong. And, well, Shivana is showing his us as well. That's a lot of early game harass. Renekton going a little bit too deep there. 
Thank God he had called the meek for a little bit of extra healing. Hmm. Well then. Itemization. <laughs> Zed is actually going for the tree longsword build, which means that he wants to go for armor penetration as quickly as possible. And why not? Renekton is going to have a very hard time. Wants to go for some armor penetration as well, apparently. He also goes for the double longsword, but that makes it so that Shivana will be able to harass him quite a bit. She has a more tankier build, and well, it shows. Oh, Renekton going in deep. He is a level higher, but the damage is just too much. Twin Bite combined with Flame Breath can do a lot of damage. Yep. My mouse went a little bit crazy there. Lucian is all by himself. Leona is coming, though, but... He needs to be very careful. Of course, Lucian has great range. Piercing Light can be used to farm as well. It's it's decent. He is pushing the lane, though. Renekton going to recall. Is Shivana going to interrupt it? Yes, she is. Poor Renekton, wasting his time. And he has a stun ready. Pings are going down to the bottom lane for red team that Gregus is, is missing, but he was just farming a little bit of minions there, so he has now returned. The pressure from Thresh isn't apparently great enough for him. Kazix now spotted on the bottom lane by a ward, so an immediate disengage there. Renekton still lacking in loss hits, but no, actually his loss hits are fine. I was thinking, because Shivana is forcing him away from the minion wave, that he won't be able to farm, but... Apparently it's of no concern of her. Now Elise is going for a gank, so this might be a very good bait there by Renekton. She didn't get hit by the tower, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Volatile Spiderling and the Cocoon gets blocked by the minions, but I don't think it will matter. Shivana is probably going down in the middle. A kill happened as well. Renekton now using Dominus to try and get a quick kill. Well, quick doesn't matter. If you fly away like a dragon today, then you will escape pretty much everything. So Shivana, with the burnout, able to escape. Now let's go to the middle to see how an insect got a little fart bast a bastard bastard. A bastard. No, 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 Renekton, I know what happens here. Let's go to the middle. Oh, yes, of course, it was Zed getting knocked towards the tower, but using his death mark to negate some of the damage and then walks away immediately. The death mark gets the kill onto Gragas, but the tower got the kill onto a DZ. Well, for Zed, onto the Gragas. Yes. Ah. Oh no, the tower got Zed, yeah. Don't know what I was going to say there, but uh, I switched it up. Just like Jinx does with her weapons. A very nice lead in there. Jinx, farming quite well, has a 10 minion kill lead onto the Lucian, as well as a champion kill, and it shows. Her Vampiric Scepter makes it so that she can regen quite fast in lane in comparison to the Lucian. Renekton apparently wants to go in for the Ruthless Predator with the Call of the Meek, but instead will die. Level up by Shivana, but I don't think it will be enough. The minions combined with the Ignite was just about enough. Elise now protecting her own blue, and it worked out. So Cocoon now landing onto the, the Kessex. Will he be able to escape? Well, I don't think so. Skittering Frenzy should be more than enough. No, that Taste of Fear does not do as much damage onto Elise as if she is in spider form and has spider links protecting her. Now it is Leona going in onto D. I <laughs> was going to say Jinx. Oh yeah, it is Jinx. Oh <laughs> my god. Never mind. I don't think this is going to be an engage. Gregus is there for the disengage as well. Oh my, Lucian is actually in a very bad spot. Annie showing her the powers of Annie. Zap going through. An auto attack coming in. And then boom goes the barrel. And that's a kill for blue team. And maybe a dragon? No, because Kazix died to the Elise player. So it should be fine. But those are a lot of minions that Lucian is going to miss. He was out of position completely there. You can't underestimate an Annie. Especially if she has a stun ready. And has her teammates pretty close by. So they're going in for a dive onto the Leona? Well, they need a stun for that, and I don't think Annie has the mana for it. Renekton going to get burned out again. The tower has now dropped Leona on the run with the Zenith Blade. Will flash over the wall, and blue team decides not to chase after her. Wisely so. They have burned quite the flashes to get the kill on Lucian early on in the game. Mmm, Dominus being used there, Ruthless Predator as well, Burnout now for the escape instead of the damages. She does not yet have her ultimate, so she can't fly away, but Ruthless Predator was still on cooldown, so Renekton unable to get the kill there onto the Shivana as well. Elise was trying to get cheeky for going in for Blue Steel, but it didn't work out. However, if Kazix would go, no, the wolves are still dead, so it will be Gragas who will be in trouble. Will he be able to dodge the cocoon? Of course he will, he has Body Slam. 
and he will be able to hold the middle tower as well. He has great wave clear. The items that he has right now must certainly give him all the wave clear he needs. He did opt to go for Seeker's Arm Guard, so his ability power isn't as high as it might have been. But against the Zed, I can most assuredly say that that is a correct choice. The stasis effect from the Hourglass will make it so that the ultimate of Zed is pretty useless. Now guess whose ult is ready now, Renekton, ready to run away, or will it be a nice little, well, slice and dice, I was going to say, but he still got knocked away by the Dragon's Descent, and that is a quick kill for Shivana. No one is going to help you there, mate. Flame Chomp is being used to make a waste of these criminals who might go for Dragon. Kazix has been spotted in the middle. Dragon is up. They are in position, Red Team is, but so is Gragas. And Gragas is going for a gank, apparently. Who knows? And he does have a stun ready? I don't think so. No, she doesn't. So instead, it is now an invade by Red Team into the jungle of Blue Team. The pings are going down onto the red buff, but Red Team does not know that the red buff is there. Instead, they want to go for Kha'Zix, who has his leap. So if at all possible, he can leap away, as you can see right now. That was a very weird cocoon there. So no dragon has been taken yet. We are still 10 minutes and 40 seconds into the game, so you don't need to rush it. The average is about 12 minutes. And, to be honest, the dragon isn't all worth all that much in the early game, because, well, they changed it around in this preseason. But it's still a nice little experience and gold amount you get for it. And is this dangerous? Well, Leona is warding a little bit, but other than that, Kha'Zix wants... Oh my god, Solar Flare coming through! Will Leona be able to do this all by herself? I think this is way too dangerous. Taste of Fee will do too much damage. The Ignite won't be enough, though, as Gragas does not have the mana required to use his ultimate, apparently. Or he didn't have the will? I don't know. Maybe they were so confused by her move that they didn't dare to use their ultimates. Because I was confused. Her teammates were so far off, but it worked out in the end, I believe. Of course, Lucian is all by himself, but I don't think he cares too much. Instead, they're going to a push in the middle. Gragas, of course, can use his explosive caskets to make waste of them. Oh, never mind, there's a Renekton coming through, a very nice flash, right at the perfect timing so that Deathmark did not follow through, but he is standing on a ward, so Red Team has perfect positioning onto this Gragas. Keep in mind, of course, that Gragas is quite fast, so he can body slam whenever needed, and his ally, the Shivana, is going to make it so that Renekton needs to pop his Dominus. Will it be enough? Well, no, because guess what? Boom, goes the barrel. <laughs> Now Kha'Zix going through, trying to protect his middle, gets stunned up by the Elise though. Very nice explosive there by Jinx from far away. Annie now with the Tibbers going to try and get the kill. Well, one more auto attack should do. Does she have flash? She does not. Kha'Zix will miss the Void Spikes. Stun is ready for Annie though. Will dodge the Cocoon with Tibbers. But I think that will be the end of that. The army Annie. Showing how it's done. Tibbers did die though in the end. But... A tower has been destroyed, so it's two towers for blue team, zero for red team, giving blue team quite a lead. Well, of course, they are also out farming pretty much every lane except for the middle lane, which also gives you a lot of a gold advantage. And, of course, more champion kills means more kills. However, Kha'Zix needs to be very careful. He is not aiming for any Kha'Zix. He was aiming for you! And that is a double buff for, Kaz uh, for Zed, making it so that, hey, maybe Jinx can have a double buff now. Uh, it's only a red buff, and it's for Annie, so that's a pity. Then again, Annie can use it. I think she's going for an aggressive build anyway. Oh, no, actually she's not. She's going for a pretty supportive build. Who would have thought? And Elise will take blue for it. Well, giving it to Zed isn't all that important anyway. Oh, my, someone is getting caught. Zap and a few auto attacks should be enough. Flash in by Jinx. Boom goes the Leona. And that will probably be a middle tower for blue team. So they're pressing on their lead quite hard. It's, well, already a, nearly a 4,000, well, yeah, it is a 4,000 gold lead, so that's quite a bit for 13 minutes into the game. And oh my, that was a lot of damage. It was, of course, Gragas' ultimate as well. You could see it. I barely didn't. And guess who wants to kill? It's Shivana. And it might work out because Dom, no, Madame is, is off cooldown, so Renekton could use it. Now Elise is going in with the repel. Can she land the cocoon from point blank? The answer is yes. Yes, of course. Well, Dragon's Descent now being used. The Spiderlings following through, but they will burn to death. No! 
Saved by Elise. Great place. Oh, Lucian so low. Will the rocket hit? Blocked by Leona. So the answer is no. But the turret will fall. Body slam will slow down Leona. There is no escape. Perfectly placed Ch flame chompers will make it so that Leona needs to walk in very strange positions. The zap will get dodged, but the zenith blade will make it so that she goes straight to death. Oh, who is death? Zed is death. You will die. Slowing down the Gregus, he will body slam away living shadow for the quick teleport towards him. But in the end, it doesn't even matter for... Well, Kha'Zix was there to save the day. Top tower will probably get destroyed or do it. Or will it? Because Shivana is right there. Burnout makes it so that she can get back to lane very quickly. It's a good ability. If you gank a Shivana, she will burn out and walk away. Gragas will get a blue, finally. I think Kha'Zix took the last one, now that I think about it. And it will make sieging a lot easier because I believe that blue team has better siege. And considering they are ahead, I believe that they, well, they'll probably just push the middle lane or another lane. Maybe they want to, to push bottom. They can. Oh, nice cocoon there. Shivana needs to flash away. We'll get followed up by a ruthless predator flash by Renekton. But Kha'Zix is coming through like a stealthy bastard. We'll try to chase on, but he is too low on health and mana to continue this pursuit. Shivana, however, yeah, she's even lower, so don't even bother. Greg is making it so that Zed cannot destroy his tower. Well, it didn't work out in the end, but one more explosive casket. Well, Barrel Roll might be able to get the kill onto Zed, and he knows it. However, guess who's here? It's Lucian trying to turn this around. So, oh, Zed surviving it barely. The ignite won't be enough, so Greg is able to escape. <laughs> Make a death rocket uh, missing there, but hey, you could try. And he is very fast. She has boots of mobility. Will now. Attack a min- Oh, Flame Chompers, never mind, Leona's probably going to have flashed in by Annie! So, guess who's getting excited? It is Jinx, she's going to try and get the kill onto Lucian, doing a lot of damage there with the rocket launcher. We'll miss the zap though, with the relentless pursuit of Lucian, dashing himself to safety. Great place, great place! But blue team is dominating for now, quite hard. Keep in mind that Kha'Zix earlier on took the dragon as well while something else was happening in the game. So sorry that I didn't mention it yet, but it does make it so that blue team is having a 6,000 gold lead at 16 minutes and a half. So it's looking very grim for red team. And quite frankly, I don't really know how they could uh, turn this around. They need to pick off champions, maybe, but who can they pick off? The only one that's a little bit out of position is Shivana, and well, she's a Shivana. good luck with that. You can barely kill her. She will just walk away. Leona is going to try, apparently. Let's check it out. Nope, she's walking straight back. She does none of that. That dragon is way too strong. Well, she does have a Sunfire Cape, so... Melee attacks won't do all that much. Ooh, Kha'Zix got death marked there and gets stunned by Elise. She wants to go in hard. Will she succeed? Well, no. Kha'Zix turned himself invisible. Well, well, she can't escape. Elise is in a very bad position. The Ignite will probably kill her. And if not, then of course the rocket launcher will. And he wants to stun the Leona. Zap will come on through as well. They need to be very careful though. There's a Zed in the bushes. Where? Oh, over here. Oh, he's fairly low actually. Well, he did get in a fight with Kha'Zix. Who escaped with a slither of health, by the way. He could have died. I can't blame Elise for go going for it. It's a little bit weird that Zed actually decided to not go for it. Nice knock up into the tower. Dominus now being used to try and negate the damage that the tower did. But if you run away from a burnout, then I must say you will die. Or will you? Yeah, probably. Burnout makes you fast. So that's a very quick kill there, relatively speaking, by the Shivana. Keeping in mind that Renekton is going quite tanky as well. Now that he has Ravenous Hydra, he wants to go for some health. Huh. Giant's Belt followed up by a Negatron Cloak. Renekton is getting a little bit... Well, antsy, I must say. He wants to get items quickly, but he can't farm. Therefore, he needs to buy incomplete items just to get that extra tankiness and survivability, I suppose. But that just makes it so that if you cannot complete those Tier 2 items, then, well... You will not be able to win against someone who did. Leona wants to go in hard. She does have the solar flare. Will she use it? Nope, she will not decide to flash away. Her teammates are now there, but they do not have vision onto the enemies, so they can't go for it. Guess who's getting caught there? It is Zed. He will get stunned up by the enemy and then, well, disintegrated into the face, really. 
Renekton is going to try and protect this tower. Leona is there as well. The entirety of Red Team is there, except of course for the dead Zed. But will this work out? I don't think it will. Elise will try to go for the Venomous Bite onto the Kha'Zix. He will dash away again and the Neurotoxin was not enough. Leona, Dated Blade missing there by a flash away by Gregus. But guess what? I still have a Solar Flare. And well, that was an explosive barrel straight onto your faces and he will die to the Ignite. There's no doubt about it. Lucian wants to get the kill. And flashes for it, so why not? Renekton now in a very bad position. You don't want to give Jinx a kill. She now gets excited, rushes towards the enemies, will try to get the kill onto the Elise as well. Gets excited again, goes for the Lucian. Will she succeed? Probably so. Leona wants to protect his AD carry, but it won't work in the end. Zap will slow the Lucian down. One more auto attack would succeed, but instead Lucian dashes away again. Oh, guess what? Oh, Shivana with the burnout and the ignite. Oh, will the barrier be enough? I don't think it would be, but yeah. It wasn't enough, Leona. You didn't have to go all crazy like that, but better be safe than sorry, I suppose. <laughs> Am I right? No. No, I'm not. I don't even know why that was funny, because it wasn't. Is that farming on the bottom? So he will probably get a tower out of this, but it's looking very grim. The Jinx is now 6 1 and 5 assists, so yeah, good luck with that. Kazakh's taking blue once more. He wants to dash as many times as possible. Well, leap is probably the correct term. Blue buff stolen by Jinx. Great play indeed. Leona might get caught here, but there is an Elise as well. So they need to be relatively careful. Shivana is quite close, but so was Renekton. And Zed actually continues to push through. Blue team is not responding. He might be able to get an inhibitor tower if they decide not to do anything. Kha'Zix is now finally recalling, but there aren't any minions, so Zed will back away as well. He doesn't know where Kha'Zix is, so he can't really risk going in too hard on the tower. Kha'Zix might come in invisible and then just leap onto him. And you don't want that. Oh, uh, Renekton's quick ward there, but it will get destroyed rather quickly as well. They're going in hard. Stun and Flame Chompers will make it so that Renekton cannot escape. He will die immediately to the rocket of Jinx. The Colin did nothing there, mate, and you are getting into a very bad position. Shivana is above you. Even the Pursuit won't be able to do the job. And he will try to stun him down. Will succeed with the Incinerator Syndicate combo, and that is a quick kill. Lucian completely out of position there. Zed was able to get a tower, though, and he is a very good duelist. Gragas does not have his ultimate, so in a way, Zed might be able to kill him. However, Deathmark is also on cooldown, so... Who knows what happened on the bottom there. Kha'Zix might have fought him just earlier. And he has a stun ready, so... Well, not anymore. I was going to say Leona might be in trouble, but if you use it to just stun minions, then why not? That minion is giving so much vision. Oh, Elise, you better run away. Gregus does not have his ult, though. So, in a way, she should be able to outsmite his barrel. There is a Zed as well, so... And he is approaching. Dragon has been taken though. Zap won't work. Tib is coming through. Stun true. And well, that's goodbye to you. Kazakhs with a very long leap there. Will slow down the Zed with the Void Spikes. Try to kill him with the Taste of Fear. Zed not going towards his minions. They might have saved him, but I don't think it would have been enough. Because that last Taste of Fear was with minions and it still killed him. So yeah. The powers of Kha'Zix as he leaps towards you. Zap will barely miss there with a great relentless pursuit, but I don't think it matters. Shivana is just too strong. She's just too strong. One more twin bite and it's over. Goodbye. So long. Ace for blue team and probably game as well as Renek... Oh, that's not an ace. You're still alive. And Elise has respawned, but an inhibitor destroyed nevertheless. So, yeah, it still looks very grim for red team. It is an 11,000 gold lead almost for blue team, and we're only 23 minutes in. So that's bad. That's very bad. And the gold lead is only going to increase even more if they push on to the bottom lane and get the towers. They need to be careful though. Elise is approaching as well as set. Elise going in an immediate spider form. Pretty weird because you do more damage if you go human form first and then go spider form. Of course... Spider form is quicker and it makes it so that you can initiate fights easier with the repel. But they need to be very careful. Kha'Zix is approaching. His unseen, his void assault is ready. So he can do the same combo again with the invisible leap. Which is dangerous because it gives him movement speed. And well, you don't see him coming now, do you? Oh my, oh, that's ugly. Renekton going to try and turn this around. But guess what? I have cleanse and it... Personally, I don't think it was necessary. 
So, yeah, there's nothing this Renekton can do. He's 3-9, it's a pity indeed, but what can you do about it? He only has a Ravenous Hydra. He has no other completed item yet. You can't win against a Jinx with a Static Shift and a Bloodthirster as well as the Armor Penetration of a God. So, there's really nothing you can do. Cocoon missing there, Kha'Zix laughing about it. So this will probably be the final push. There's not much Red Team can do. They are too far behind and they are facing a team that's way better at sieging than they are. Way better at wave clearing than they are. So unless a perfect solar flare comes through and even then, the calling already being used there. Renekton trying to go hard onto the tankiest member of blue team. And now Kha'Zix wants to go in through, try to do as much damage as possible. Annie is going bonkers now with Tibbers. Will try and flash over the wall, maybe? No, she can't, of course not. Kha'Zix now wants to leap in through, will get one kill. And we were going to see a leaping Kha'Zix a la... Well, a la something French. Probably not. Void Spikes might be able to land. Never mind. Taste that fear is more than enough. Almost the ace, but the surrender nevertheless from red team. GG to blue team. A very great play and display of dominance. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Sorry that I might have been a little bit rusty in this game. It's been a while since I've cast it, to be honest. But I'm back from outer space. And I don't know the rest of the lyrics. So anyway... As I said before, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Whatever it is I'll do, whenever it is I'll do it. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.